Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and this is a uh, quick video to uh, kind of uh, update uh, all of you on my usage of uh, Microsoft Edge. I've, uh, of course, went to uh, Google Chrome for a little while and also used Firefox, but uh, I was curious. Uh, yesterday there was a uh, cumulative update, uh, yesterday, uh, October 27th, and uh, one of the... Um, things that was said in there was uh, that Microsoft Edge uh, reliability was improved and that they had some fixes to Edge. So I decided to give it another uh, look and another chance. And today I've been using Edge all day. And I gotta say, it's working great. Now one of the things, and this does, you know, might actually turn you away from using Edge. If you use extensions, um, be cautious because what I've noticed and um, since my last rant on Microsoft Edge was that when you get extensions and you add those to Edge, uh, some extensions seem to cause issues with the uh, Microsoft Edge browser and uh, I had noticed that when I removed every extension from my Microsoft Edge uh, it wasn't perfect but it was better so I, I decided to just not use extensions uh, I, I don't use extensions anyways on any of my browsers so it's not a problem for me but of course if you are planning on using Edge to go on the web, uh, try it with your extension that you might want, you know, if you use Adblock, Adblock Plus or stuff like that, try it out with an extension, see how it works. If it works fine, cool, but uh, it seems to work better without extensions right now, but that's the case of a lot of browsers, by the way. If you install a lot of extensions in uh, Chrome or Firefox, you notice that performance is actually degraded and that there are issues that happen. So that's the first thing. Um, extensions, without extensions, uh, Edge worked much better already. Uh, and some of you have confirmed because I was uh, mentioning this in the uh, live show on Tuesday. And uh, a lot of you uh, actually told me, well, yeah, that's true. Uh, I've, I've removed extensions, like you said, and I do see a big difference in the performance of Edge. But apart from that, I was using it since the update yesterday and going through you know web pages and web pages first of all it's it's very fast compared to what it was and uh, everywhere you know all, all the things that I do it doesn't hang anymore doesn't give me a oh well uh, you know you gotta recover this web page or that web page uh, these are all things that don't happen anymore and I actually move on from one web page to the other in uh, pretty you know pretty fast so uh, basically, I think this is um, it's it's you know something that I'm gonna start using again. Uh, I believe that they've really improved upon the uh, Microsoft Edge browser, and that it is uh, really nice, uh, fast, and uh, doesn't hang anymore. So I think that's the good news of Microsoft Edge. So if you aren't uh, somebody that use extensions, really, um, you know, try it out. If you've abandoned Edge for some reason because of hanging or freezing, uh, you know what? It's actually working really well now. If you are using extensions, uh, what I would say is go to the extensions and install only the extensions that you might use. So for example, if the only thing you want is Adblock, then use Adblock, but don't add anything else. Um, so minimum of um, extensions possible. And uh, try it out and see if it works for you. But uh, frankly, since uh, yesterday's update, Edge is back on my browser list as my main browser. Uh, really am enjoying Microsoft Edge. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel, give us thumbs up. If you have uh, tried Edge again, or if you are back on Edge, or maybe you just 
by out of curiosity uh, try it now with this video why not give me your feedback of uh, what do you think and uh, are you using extensions or not and uh, let me know your uh, own personal experience with Microsoft Edge in Windows 10 thank you so much for watching